Hi, I'm Glenn Johnson. I'm a speech language pathologist with SuperDuper Publications, and today we're going to be talking about Kangaroo Island Photo Classifying. This is our brand new app, and I'm sure you're going to love it. Here on Kangaroo Island, children learn to name and classify 336 items in 15 different categories. We have animals, bathroom, clothing, colors, foods, furniture, instruments, kitchen, lowercase letters, uppercase letters, the numbers 1 through 20, shapes, tools, toys, and transportation. Children get to tour Kangaroo Island in Australia and play six interactive activities while improving their vocabulary and classifying skills, basic concept knowledge, and listening and reading comprehension. Now let's take a look at the app. Welcome to Kangaroo Island. Here you can see we have six interactive games. There's also music, and I can cut that off by just tapping right here. If you'll notice, we have six games. Classaroo, Picking Parrot, Skink Ball, Turtle River, Koala Canvas, and Seal Search. When I first come to the app, I tap Player, and then I can add a player, and I'm going to put in Dave. And now let's take a look at our categories. If you'll notice, I have 15 categories here, and all of these categories right now are deselected. That means there's nothing on. Now I can select as many categories as I wish to play. I'm going to select animals, clothing, foods, furniture, uppercase letters, and this is a really neat feature of this app. I'm able to actually teach the difference between lower and uppercase letters, and let's add in toys as well. Now if I wanted to, I could select all the categories. So now everything is selected, and when I play my game, five categories at a time will come up during each game. So it might be furniture, clothing, colors, foods, and animals one time, and then the next time I play, I might get some toys, shapes, or some other items. So let's clear it back out again. We're going to do our food, clothing, foods, uh, uppercase letters, toys, and that's five. And then we can show text or picture. Classaroo is going to always show both. I'm going to leave it on picture, and then we can do, say, category and item names. Now, if I wanted to, I could turn the text on and pictures off, and then I can make this a reading task. But we're going to leave it just the way it is for now. So, one of the things that I can also do with my settings page is that if I'm just trying to teach vocabulary, I can just turn on one category and just work within that category too. So this is a really flexible game. I can go all the way up to all 15 categories, or I can just play one, two, three, as many categories as I like at a time. So now let's take a look at our games. The first game is Classaroo. Help Sally find all her friends by choosing the correct item and putting it in her pouch. So my items are going to appear at the top. I'm Upper looking for toys. Egg. Jump rope. Cake. And I find the jump rope and I put it in Sally's pouch. And let's do one more. Foods. Uppercase V. Pineapple. Hula hoop. Now let's say I got that wrong. Sally's going to tell me no, and then it's going to cut the items down to just two items at one time, making it a little bit easier. So now I put my hula hoop in the pouch. Oh, I was looking for foods. There we go. Now we've got it all. Now let's go back. Now let's take a look at picking parrot. Paul the parrot is hungry. Sort all the items into the correct categories, and you can feed him a snack. Now, as you can see, this game has gotten a little more complex. Here, I'm going to sort five items into five categories. Sandwich, and so I take my food grapes, and my grapes. Uppercase J. Jeans. And bicycle. I move them all. And here come five more items. And Jump I'm going to put those in. Seal. Belt. Owl. Oh, I missed one. So Ow. then I'm going to pull that down to the animals and then look for my uppercase letters. Now I get to feed Paul a snack. This is my favorite part. Chomp, 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 chomp. And 
let's go take a look at one more game. So I tap that home button. Choose a correct category. Now this is called Skink Ball. That lane. Rattle. And we're gonna put that in the correct place. Carrots. And Ned's gonna keep giving us balls. Upper we get case, ten C. balls. Peas. Up oh, and foods. We'll keep Upper going case, through. W. And I've got a couple Sneakers. more to go. Snake. Sandals. One more. Pig. And there we go. Give Ned your ticket. So now I take my ticket and I give that to Ned. Now choose a prize. Now I get to pick a prize. So I just tap the prize that I want. And the more I get correct, the more prizes I win. I would have taken that one too. Now I can go back. Now we're going to take a look at Turtle River. The turtles need some help finding their homes. Put each turtle on the correct island. Woohoo! Yay! Awesome! I'm just going to slide each toy Yay. over to the correct island. And if you'll notice, there's a turtle that pops up every time I get one right on the island. And if I get Oops, it wrong, it again. just pops back out. Yay! Now we're going to take a look paint at Koala Canvas. Here we choose get to paint. Picture. So I choose my picture. Now choose a palette. And I'm going to choose hot dog. Choose a paint color and then find an item that goes in that category. So I choose my paint color. Foods. And then I'm going to paint my food. Pancakes. And choose Foods. food again and Ice paint cream. my other food. Now let's do clothing. clothing. And now yeah. I'm going to tap that one. And then finally you get to paint your entire picture. The last game choose is called Seal Search. Not long and try to find Cindy. Ice cream. Now this Uppercase game is going to be what doesn't cookie. belong. Hot this dog. is different from the Which other one games. Doesn't belong? So I tap my picture, Blouse, and I'm going to try to scarf, find my seal. Tricycle, coat. Which one doesn't belong? Uppercase N, uppercase R, uppercase Z, jeans. We have one Doll, more piece to go. Video game, taco, blocks. Which one doesn't? And there we find our seal. And so now I'm going to go back. And if you'll notice over here, I also have categories. So if you want to see what items are in the categories, all 15 categories are listed right here. And as you can see, all of the photos are here too. Now I can even listen to those. Fish, fly, frog. So this is a great activity when you're just starting to teach vocabulary. So we can run through all of the animals before we ever start to put those into some of our games. Now finally, let's take a look at our results. As you can see, Dave has played a lot of different games. You see the graph of his score up here. I'm going to choose Dave, and we can take a look at each of the games that he played. And I can also tap here to see the items that I missed. So if you'll notice, skateboard is in red. That was one of the items I missed during the Turtle River game. I can switch that over to Skink Ball and change that as well. As you can see, I didn't miss any items when I was playing Skink Ball. All of this will graph. It will save an unlimited number of players and an unlimited number of data. Um, I can email or print this data. And again, I can add as many players as I want. And I can choose to change my settings at any time. So that's the Kangaroo Island app. I'm going to run through the important features of this app just one more time with you. You can teach children to classify photos in 15 different categories, choose to teach one to five categories at a time, teach children classifying using text or photos, turn audio on or off, track and graph data for an unlimited number of children, document the items a child identifies incorrectly, email, print, and share results. If you'd like to learn more, go to superduperinc.com apps or come find us on Facebook.